All right, so yet again, I've heard from people that I need to look at today's Dortal, Cordal, and or Octortal. So we're going to do all three of them. Um, now, the Dortal, let's see. Let's start with uh, the Flute, Cairn, and Showy. Let's do Cairn first. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do Flute. All right. So, got some yellows. That's not, that's just not very much. Showy, let's see. Does it get us anything? Uh, a little bit. Not much. Okay, we got the S over here. That's good. So, probably not SR. Could be S I R, but then. So the only vowels we have are eyes. So I only have eyes. Mm, interesting. So is there a three consonant start that we could have? Something like this. Like, hmm. Given the letters we have, it almost have to be. Sprig would work. That would be interesting. Hmm. I like sprig there. That's a good one. That's a tricky word, too. A sprig is like a, a, a little stick. Like, I think it's usually like you have a, an herb or something, like parsley, like a sprig of parsley. I think that's what it is. I'll put that definition on the screen there. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to guess that yet, but I'll put that on the screen anyways. Now, over here, we've got the four yellows. We've got a C and a T. We don't have an H. So, and the E is not at the end. So maybe... Like T O C E or E C or I feel like the O and the E are gonna be second and fourth, but it's not necessarily true. Uh, it could also be something like oct octet. Octet would work. We've had that one before. Hmm. I like that guess because it it checks two new spots for the T. No, it doesn't get us any new letters. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that one though. Okay, it was octet. Awesome. Now I think I'm gonna guess sprig over here. I like that. I think that's a good word. It was sprig. Okay, so octet and sprig. There you go. So I'm guessing people were having trouble because they don't know the word sprig. Some people maybe didn't know octet. Octet just means like a group of eight, a set of eight things. Kind of like a quartet, like four singers, and octet would be eight singers, something like that. So, all right, we're gonna move on to the chordal now, and we're gonna start with octet and sprig. All right, on to the chordal now. We're starting with octet. And sprig, and we didn't get much. Interesting that these two words have the same start so far. Let's see. Um, it might be good to do something with just completely different letters, like, uh, ooh, I was gonna say daunt, but we don't have a T in any of the words. We could do dance. It's not great, but there is an E in this word and a C in two of the words. Let's go with that. I like that. Okay. Ooh, and the C is in the same spot on both of those. Okay, that's interesting. Well, at least the C and the E were worthwhile. The D, A, and N did nothing for us. So, um, the only vowels we haven't guessed yet are U and Y. The two with C's in the fourth position feel like they could have a Y at the end. That does feel possible. Um, otherwise, probably could it be O, O, C. I don't think so. And if you do something like this, you've got to have a, a double consonant at the beginning. Hmm. This one down here, uh, maybe I-G-E would be good? What would be the start, though? Or we could have another E. Something like Siege, but don't have an S. Or maybe maybe something like no oh, like guide but we don't have a D or guys but we don't have an S guile guile would work there that lets us check for U's in all the words the G isn't super helpful the E isn't helpful on any of the words but it lets us check for L's and U's okay not guile all right. We need to have a really good guess on this next one here. Um, now, interesting, these two words sure look the same. So far, everything's exactly the same. And this one, we still only have the O and the S. Okay, uh, now the I has to be first or second. There is an L. So, so if it was L-I, then maybe G or like that I don't think so uh, something I 
LG, oh, bilge. Bilge would be good. Question is, do I want to guess that? Um, again, it's not help. Well, there's another spot for the L in these two, so that's good. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm going to wait on that one. After this guess, I will have to get, if it's not right, I will have to get all of them in order from there on, so. Uh, let's see. It's weird that these two are exactly the same so far, so maybe L O. I still don't think you could have O O C. So the L is not going to be after the C. Could be. And we're either going to have a Y at the end or an O at the end, I think. Oh, it could have a K. Uh, block would work. So would clock. Be interesting if one was block and one was clock. I think there's a decent chance that at least one of them is block or clock. It could be that one's block and one's clock. I think I'm gonna try block because I think this could be bilge, so it's helping us with that one as well. And it's also checking another spot for the L here, even though I don't necessarily think that's where the L is. And if one of them is clock instead of block, at least we'll, I think I'm gonna try that. Okay, it was block. Oh, and this one is, I think it's gonna be clock. What else could it be? Oh, it could be flock too. But this is not bilge. Okay, so, not bilge. So I'm glad I didn't guess bilge. So the L has to be first or third. If it's third, then it would have to be this, which I don't, if it's not bilge, I don't know what that would be. So I think it's not IL. Um, it could be something L, some, uh, no, I don't think so. So I think the L is going to be first, and then the I would have to be second. So like that, or I think it's going to be liege. I think I thought of liege earlier, but I might have been spelling it differently. I don't even remember. But liege, I think that's going to be liege, hopefully. Let's go for it. Okay, it was liege. All right, and this one up here, we finally got, okay, so... Uh, ooh, we've... B-O, maybe? I mean, what's gonna come after the B if it's not an O? I guess it could be a Y, maybe. But otherwise, I think it's gotta be B-O... Bosom would work. Or we could have a Y, something like... Bossy? Bossy or bosom. And I think this one is clock or flock. So I think I need something, I think I need something with an F and a Y in it. So that way I can determine if this, because I've got three guesses and I need to get two words. So if I guess something with an F and a Y, it will tell me if it's bosom or bossy, or if I'm completely wrong and it's something else. And this will tell me if it's flock or I think maybe clock. So let's do, I mean, we could do um, fully. Foley would work. Um, or actually, no, what would be better is Foley, because it does check another spot for the O here. So that's that's something. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, so this is B-O... I think it's got to be Bossy. Let's try Bossy. Nice, okay, and then this last one is not Flock. It's not Flock, because the F there, so it's got to be Clock. Let's go with Clock. Okay, whew. That was a little bit closer than I w would normally feel comfortable with, <laughs> but it worked out. So, clock, bossy, liege, and block. It's interesting that we had clock and block, two very similar words there. So, all right, we're gonna move on to the octortal and use clock, bossy, liege, and block for our words. All right, on to the octortal. We're gonna start with clock, bossy, liege, oop, gotta spell it correctly, and block. Now clock and block are obviously not great starting words together. Uh, I, by the way, I should have probably mentioned what liege means. Some people might not know that, but um, I don't don't know exactly, but it has to do with uh, kings and um, their servants, maybe knights and things. I've heard it, you know, my liege, like my, um, like your honor kind of thing, I think. I'll put it on the screen like usual. Now this is interesting. We've got C-O-E-G and K, so we've got all the letters, and the K is not at the, oh, it's Gecko. It's gonna be Gecko. Okay, there we go, Gecko. 
Now this one, we've only got the green eye. This only, we've got nothing on a lot of these. Look at this, the green. Okay. Uh, now we've only got three, four, five, six. Seven. We've only got eight guesses to get seven words here. So we need to have a really good next guess because this only has E, this only has G. This is all looking bad. Okay. Um, hmm. So my first thought is something like fruit, but we don't want to use the I because the I is only going to help us with this word. So let's see. R and T. It'd be good to do a oh an A and a U. A A would be good too. I didn't even notice we didn't have the A yet. The A is probably more important than the U actually. We could do tramp. That's five new letters. It'd be nice to get an N in there. Trand is not a word. Brant I don't think is a word. Drant. Oh, Drant is a word. Okay. Drant would be good. That would be a good word. I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, got a bunch of yellows and a green. Okay, that helps a lot. So over here, we only have A's unless we have a U. Ooh, which could be, ooh, I was gonna say gaunt, but we don't have an N. So, G-A, something A-T maybe? Or U, gamut, gamut with a U. That would be good. It lets us check for U's and M's as well. And I think that has a good chance of being right. Okay, it was gamut, good. Okay, we got a U here and an M here. Awesome. Okay, so this is something I am uh, timid, maybe? I mean, we only have eyes. We don't have any other letters. We only have eyes for this word. Okay. Um, let's go with timid. Okay, it's timid. This one here it has an I, an E, and a U, which is interesting. So, I mean, E at the end seems likely. Uh, maybe I at the beginning in in bu in in what in you no in I feel like that's a in in bu in do there's no d uh, okay so not maybe something hmm otherwise I mean it could be I you you no I don't I think the I's got to be at the beginning. In something, but huh? Okay, I don't know. I don't know that one. Okay, so this has T A U N and Y. So we've got all the letters. So anti. I think it's gonna be anti. Yep, anti. Okay, so we located the N here. That's good. So that's third. Okay, so I still think I something N U. E, but otherwise it would have to be E something N U I. Ooh, uh, that is a word. I can't remember what that means though. I'll put it on the screen over there. But that is a word. That has a good chance of being right. I don't know. I don't feel confident about that one though. So I'm gonna come back to it. But I think that has a good chance. I'm hoping that we'll get some more letters from these other ones. So this over here, T E, and we need uh, an R and an A. And the, yeah, and, yeah, and the A can't be next. Terra. Terra would work with a double R. That's a pretty good one. I think it's gotta be that. Let's try it. Okay. All right, so. So the U's gotta be in the middle. It's not gonna be T-U, it's not gonna be U-O. So it's gotta be like this. And then the S is either last, which could be like outs. Or the S is at the beginning, south, or oh, south. Hmm. South. South would be good. Pouts or south. Now people keep telling me that you can't use words that end in S. So, um, I guess I'm gonna go with that and guess south over pouts. Okay. Worked out this time. All right. Uh, this one. I still think this has to be. Ennui? I think it's ennui. Um, I don't know what it means, but like I said, I'll, I put the, the definition up there, so... Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that. What was that? Okay. Good. And then this last one, we've got an H, and... Ooh, now we only have E's. But we don't have... Wheel. Wheel would be good. So what I was gonna say is we only have E's, but you can't put an E in the first two positions. So it's got to be two consonants at the beginning, and 
Yeah, I think it's gonna be wheel. Let's guess wheel. Oh, it was a wheel. Oh. So close. All right. Well, uh, didn't quite get it this time, I guess. Um, really close. I thought for sure that was gonna be wheel. But, uh, you know, starting with clock and block and bossy just didn't get us enough, you know, information at the beginning. So, uh, that's gonna be my excuse. So, <laughs> if, I, if I hadn't done clock and block, I might have had one more guess to figure that out. But, there you go. So, that was today's Dortal, Cordal, and Octortal. Let me know how these went for you and which words you thought were the hardest. Um, by the way, uh, gamut definition on the screen over there. It's like the whole thing. If you run the gamut, you do everything. And, whelp is kind of, I, I believe, just sort of like a well. So, uh, you probably know most of the other words I already put ennui on the screen, so. Uh, terra means, uh, like, dirt, earth, so. There you go, so let me know how these went for you and which words were the hardest, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. I'm gonna go ahead and guess mocha, I like that guess. Oh, it's mocha. And the A is green over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, ooh, you know what we could do? Khaki, that would be really good with a double K. If the O isn't second, it has to be last, but that seems less likely. So C-O something S-E. Uh, oh, Barcelona, we're in Barcelona. Okay, so we are in Spain, there you go.